Welcome to the Lynn lineup, where we focus on the events that are happening right here in Lynn. I'm your host, Nina Shahi, and today I'm here with Judith Marshall, the Education and Research Specialist at the Lynn Museum. We're going to be talking about the free Fun Friday event at the Lynn Museum, which is happening on July 21st from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. I want to say thank you for coming in today. Thank you. Um, could you describe the event and what will happen? Yeah, so Free Fun Friday, it's a program that's put on every summer by the Highland Street Foundation. And so they offer uh, funding to 85 cultural institutions all across Massachusetts. It allows them to open the doors to the public for free mm -hmm. um, on, on a given Friday of every, uh, every week this summer. And so this year is the first year that the Lynn Museum is able to do that. And mm -hmm. our Free Fun Friday, of course, is next Friday. Uh, and we have a lot going on, both inside and outside the museum. So people can come to the museum and just tour our exhibits. They could go on a self-guided tour at their own leisure. Mm -hmm. If they have a smartphone, they can download an app and do an audio tour. Mm -hmm. We're also doing three guided tours of the exhibits. Um, we'll also have some crafts and a hands-on table for people to actually touch some of the objects from our collection. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have food and snacks. Outside, we'll have um, giving out Italian ice. We're gonna have music. Uh, in our courtyard, we also have a 10-footer, which is a small building that was a shoe workshop from around the 18th century. Oh, wow. So right beside it, we are going to have uh, Sarah Madeline Tierney Guerin, who is a woman who has done extensive research on these shoe workshops and also shoemaking in general. And she actually has her own 10-footer, and she makes shoes herself. Mm -hmm. So she's going to be there with all of her tools and talk a little bit about the history of shoemaking and how to actually make shoes. So she really has sort of an inside knowledge of that. Yeah. So it's going to be a really busy and fun day. Yeah. Why did the Lynn Museum want to be a part of an event like this? Well, uh, we really like these events because being able to open our doors for free to the public is a great way to get our community of Lynn engaged in the museum. They're able to come in and really explore the history. And even if they're not interested in history, it's a way for them to be in our museum. Because, mm -hmm. of course, we want the museum to be the People's Lynn Museum. So it's a great way yeah. to get them involved mm -hmm. in, maybe mm -hmm. for the first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is this kind of a family event? Or is it just like a Lynn event? I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a family mm -hmm. event. We're hoping that um, because the Highland Street Foundation, who puts on these Free Fun Fridays, mm -hmm. uh, they do a lot of promotion of these events. So we're hoping mm -hmm. that people from really all over the state can potentially come to Lynn Museum and Lynn itself for the first time so that mm -hmm. you can go if you're older, if you have family, if you have kids. It's really a fun day for everyone. Yeah, how are mm -hmm. they promoting this event? Um, so they, on their website, they have um, a be really beautiful website that mm -hmm. tells you which organizations are doing the event and when you can go and how to get there. Um, they also give out to each of the museums and parks and zoos that are doing Free mm -hmm. Fun Friday mm -hmm. um, a little uh, pamphlet that has a list of everything that, that they're doing. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, the usual social media and Instagram mm -hmm. and yeah. Yeah, Facebook, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. How are they funding for this type of event? Um, so with the Highland Street Foundation, um, they invite, so it's not open applications for funding. They uh, reach out to different organizations. So you have to be invited to apply. Okay. And then, so then you sent, we sent in our application once we were invited. We were really lucky to be selected this year and we were accepted. So we were able mm -hmm. to get funding for this event. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah. yeah, especially like the Lynn Museum has so many cool events, like the family events and all yes. that stuff. This makes complete sense that the Lynn Museum wants to be a part of exactly. it. Exactly. No, yeah. we love to mm -hmm. be able to offer these free events to get people involved. So we do have, yeah, four times a year mm -hmm. our free fun family day, not free fun Friday, uh, yeah. which is also, you know, a lot of fun and games there as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the turnout usually when the Lynn Museum has these type of events? Um, so for family day, uh, we usually get, it's more of a local day. So we, uh, for our free fun family day, we get around 100, maybe 150 people. But we're expecting a lot more to come for our mm -hmm. Free Fun Friday because there's such extensive, extensive promotion of this event all around the state. We're expecting to get a lot of people who aren't from Lynn as well as people from Lynn. So mm -hmm. um, they actually have been, Highland Street Foundation have been sending us numbers of you know, museums and how many people are coming. So it could be in the hundreds, um, mm -hmm. like around 400. So oh, we're, wow. we are, I mean, we're open all day. It's going to be inside and outside. We're hoping that we can get a lot of people into the museum. Yeah, it mm -hmm. is going to be all day. So that makes sense when exactly. a lot of people come in and out. Yeah. yeah. And it's indoors and outdoors? Yes, then? yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, so um, inside we'll have things, we'll have um, the white rose is gonna have a little pop-up cafe in our mm -hmm. kitchen. So if you wanna get a coffee or sandwich, you can go there. We're gonna have our crafts um, inside. So if you have kids, mm -hmm. uh, they could do a craft inside. There's tours of the museum inside and hands-on table. And outside, we're gonna have uh, music. We have a park and a courtyard. So it's really just mm -hmm. a nice place to be in, in general, so yeah. Yeah, how do you think this benefits the community of Lynn? Uh, well, it's a great way for them to uh, get to know the history of Lynn um, in a fun way as mm -hmm. well. But just, um, it's a great community again, uh, event, being free, you know, anyone can go. Um, people of all ages, of all groups are able to come in and engage with their community and their history in a really fun way. Yeah. How mm -hmm. could people get involved with these type of events that the Lynn Museum provides? Um, so if they want to email, if they want to, you know, become volunteers at these events or if people are interested also in giving tours, we're always looking to train docents to give tours of the exhibits or just, you know, volunteer at the front desk. Mm -hmm. um, they can always email me. Um, so my email is judith at lynnmuseum.org. They could call the Lynn Museum um, and just tell them that they're interested in volunteering because, of course, volunteers are, we couldn't do these events without them. So we always appreciate yeah. the help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What would you say to people to convince them to come down? Um, so I would say it's going to be a really fun day for mm -hmm. everyone, whether you're yeah. interested in history, you want to see our beautiful collection, whether you have kids or you want to take your grandkids to somewhere fun, there'll be lots of fun crafts and games, and they'll be able to actually reach out and touch part of Lynn's history, which is great. Yeah. You can grab a coffee and a sandwich or just hang out in our beautiful courtyard mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. sun and enjoy a summer day. What collection are they specifically going to see? Um, so we have um, two of our uh, permanent exhibits, mm -hmm. Industry and Craft, People at Work in Lynn, and Collecting for the Art Artifacts of Lynn. So Industry and Craft is all about the history of work in Lynn. So um, you can learn all about what people, so people used to do as jobs from the 17th century to the present. So we cover oh, wow. things. Um, we have a little exhibit about fluff, of course, because mm -hmm. fluff is made here in Lynn. Mm -hmm. uh, we have one on GE and shoes, but we also have some of the lesser known industries mm -hmm. like um, making harvesting ice and turning flax into linen. Um, we have two new exhibits that we're really excited. We have one that's on um, the Morales Bottle Apothecary exhibit. So mm -hmm. Antonio Morales is, um, he's a self-proclaimed citizen archeologist. So he's not a trained archeologist, mm -hmm. but he's been going on archeology span digs for decades now, now with his son and grandsons, and they've been digging up these old apothecary bottles. So mm -hmm. he has a really extensive collection. So we're displaying those apothecary bottles and then we also have um, a painting exhibit by Jeff Fieravanti, who's a local artist, who's done mm -hmm. these beautiful Civil War landscapes. Yeah. Uh, so we're displaying those along with some of the Civil War objects from the Lynn Museum's collection. Okay. All mm -hmm. right, well, thank you so much for coming in today. Okay, thank you. Yeah. That's the Free Fun Friday event at the Lynn Museum, which is located at 590 Washington Street. This will take place on July 21st from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And I want to say thank you to the crew for filming this, and thank you for watching. From the LCTV studio, I'm Adina Shahi. There's so many amazing things happening in Lynn, and we hope you can come on down and experience them with us.